guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Fab Friday. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a how I lay my wig down featuring Diosa hair. But before we get into all the specs of the hair, how I lay my wigs down to get that flawless application. If you're new to the channel, I want you to go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. And if you like videos like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to let me know you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Now let's go ahead and get into the specs of the unit and also laying this wig down. Okay, so this unit comes from Diosa hair it is the curly peruvian lace front unit got it in 150 percent density and it retails for 62 dollars with the five dollar coupon so well within that affordable price point for a human hair unit this is what her packaging looks like once you open it you get the hair and this little tissue paper wrapping some wig caps which i love because i needed some more brown ones and then the hair comes in this little plastic baggie so let's go ahead and get the hair out and see what she looks like Okay, so it does come with that uh, freshly washed, like that freshly washed chemical smell, um, which is not like a harsh smell. You can wash that and get that out. It also has the lace here in the front, as well as about a four inch parting space down here in the middle. It has the two combs on the side, as well as the comb in the back and the adjustable straps. There is lace in the back if you wanna use that for like upstyling, but honestly, I would rather do an upstyle with the unit if it had lace all the way around the unit. It doesn't really seem fitting to do an up style with lace only halfway around the unit. I mean, that could have just continued if we're being honest. It looks like this is a pre-plucked hairline. If you guys can see, we'll see how this looks once I get her on, um, see if I need to do any plucking. But I don't think I will need to do any type of plucking for this unit. Um, because it looks pretty it looks pretty good right now. So, you know, we'll see. It does come with like this deep curl pattern. So I wanna go in and wash the unit and then let it air dry for a bit and then I'll come back and show you guys how I lay my wigs down. All right, so let's go ahead and start the process of laying this wig down. So I did put the hooks on the first one um, to kind of see how it fits down, if it's gonna be big head friendly or not. Normally with these units, they do kind of stretch. Um, so I think it should be fine. That does make it a little tight, so I may loose, I may take those off. Ooh, cause she's looking crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm gonna take those hooks off because I don't want it to pull back like that on my edges. So let's go ahead and cut this lace off and get her right. So I'm gonna go in with a mix of my um, contour and sculpt color from the Black Radiance palette just to put into my lace so it kind of blends down a little bit better. Let's put her on. And the part is obviously on the side that I don't like so I will be changing that. It fits a lot better taking those straps off. So just be aware if you have a big head, leave the straps off because it'll fit a lot better. It gives like a perfect fit. So you literally have like no space to cut off anything. Like once the lace is cut off, it's cut off. Just be mindful of that if you have a big head like me, that you're not gonna have any type of space to um, do anything extra. But the hairline looks actually really good. That doesn't look horrible at all. And here comes the, what I feel like is the easy part. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in with our trusty got to be glue. This is the one, the clear one in the black bottle. So we're gonna do the middle first, just right here. And then we're just gonna go in and blow dry it like normal. Get it tacky. Um, I'm gonna work in sections this time. Normally I just kind of just go all the way around, but today I'm gonna work in sections. So I'm gonna do the middle and then the sides. Make sure all the hair is pushed back. And we just gonna pull her down. Now, with me, because I have a mole on the side of my forehead, if I cover that mole up with lace, I feel like my wigs look even more wiggy because I'm used to seeing my mole show. So normally with my wigs, I will go in and cut the mole out um, so that pops through. And then I'll go in with the rest of my gel and do both sides. I'm gonna wrap it like I normally do. I push all the hairs back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I style and finesse this hair. All right, so now we're going to take off our wrap. And that's how that is looking so far. I got some water and conditioner in this little spray bottle here. I'm going to spray my hair down. And the hair is very, very lightweight. I was kind of worried because it's only 10 inch, but I think this is like a cute bob look. So it's working out just fine. 
And then I'm gonna go in with my Eco Styler Professional Hold. This is the number 10 hold. I'm gonna put some of that in my hands. Now the hair is shedding some um, because I did not detangle it as much as I could have after I washed it. I don't want a bunch of baby hair, so I'm just taking the hair that's already there and kind of, you know, doing a little soup action and that's it. I do want to put a part here. So to make sure that your hair stays in place all day, like especially with the part, I'm gonna use my free spray to, you know, push it back up in there. And it's gonna comb that in there. Okay, so this is the finished product, you guys. Very simple, very cute, very easy to put down. And for that $60 price range, you cannot beat the style curl and unit like this. The only thing I would tell you guys that I would change about this lay down is to leave a little extra lace on your sides here. I didn't have any trouble putting this one down, but this one took some time. So just be aware of that. It's better to take lace off after the fact than to have to try to figure out how to work it without you know the lace being there. That lace laid down perfectly. Put some powder in the parting space over there as well again good to go and come closer so you guys can see obviously i left a little bit of lace here in the front but that's how i wanted to do it this hairline is pre-plucked but if you want to pluck it some more pluck to your little heart's desire okay pluckity pluck pluck whatever you want to do it comes with about a 13 by 4 lace parting area so again nothing crazy but you can work with her we in there in there like swimwear baby the hair texture is pretty the hair texture is soft i had a little bit of shedding when i washed the unit um and then when i went in and finger combed it but nothing crazy once I sprayed her down with some product and left her like you know, kind of to air dry these are the curls that I got and I feel like it's a good go-to if you are someone who is new to the wig game and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a unit but you also want a human hair unit this one is a great start and a good go-to for you within that $60 price range you cannot beat a unit like this I would direct link all the information for this unit down below so you guys can check it out make sure you tell them that Kyra Sean sent you again shout out to Diosa wigs for sending me this unit to try out for my loyal babes i really really appreciate you guys they may still have their five dollar coupon on their actual store link um i'm not sure though so definitely click that box if it's still available so you don't miss out on that five dollar discount and if you are an amazon user you have prime free two day shipping sometimes one day so get yourself a good wig okay get yourself this wig you cannot pass up this deal very affordable very beginner friendly good to go but let me know what you think about this unit down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future also go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos coming up in the future i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye